Hi, I'm Savita and welcome to my online classes. Today I'll be teaching you how to take measurements to make a kurti or a dress. So let's start. Before taking the measurements, please keep the measurement sheet ready as shown here and follow the sequence given in the measurement sheet. So we'll be taking the measurements uh, in a sequence and all the measurements will be taken in inches. First measurement will be the shoulder measurement which will be taken from the back of the person. So stand behind the person. Hold the tape straight. Keep, place the tape from one shoulder bone to the other and make a note of the measurement. So in this case it is 14 inches. Now we'll be taking the vertical measurements that is the bust point, waist point, full length of the garment and the hip length. Right. Visually divide half the shoulder into half again and place the tape straight starting from the shoulder point. Let the tape fall straight going through the highest point on the bust. That would be the bust point. Make a note of the measurement. In this case it's 10 inches. Next we will be taking the waist point that is the smallest part of your waist. Now shift your left hand, hold the tape there at the waist and sit down and take the full length of the garment as per the requirement. It could be knee length or floor length. So we have taken bust point, waist point, full length. Now we will be taking the hip length from the back of the person. Stand behind the person. Again place the tape straight from the shoulder. Just hold the tape straight. The highest point of the hip will touch the tape. Please make a note of the hip length. Now we will be taking the round measurements that is chest round, bust round, waist round and hip round. Now we will be taking the chest round measurement. Put your arms behind the person. Ask the person to raise the arms. Bring the tape just under the armhole and bring the tape to the front and take the measurement. It's 34 inches. Now do not add all your fingers, just hold with two fingers and also make sure the tape is parallel to the floor. Next will be the bust round measurement. Slide the tape down. Let the tape pass through the highest part of the bust and take the measurement in the center. And again make sure the tape is parallel to the floor. Next would be the waist measurement. Again slide the tape down. Let it sit on the smallest part of your waist. Take the measurement. Now all the measurements do not pull the tape and make it tape, make it tight. Just keep it relaxed and do the body measurement. After this slide the tape down again and let the tape pass through the highest part of the hip. You can see it from the side and make a note of the measurement. Now we'll be taking the front neck depth. Place the tape straight and make a note of the neck depth you require. Now we'll be taking the measurements related to the sleeve. First will be the arm round measurement that is the biggest part of your arm and then the arm hole measurement. Next will be the sleeve length. Sleeve length varies from garment to garment. So you can take a short sleeve or you can take a full sleeve. Wherever the sleeve ends, there you will be taking the sleeve open measurement. So let's see how to take that. Now we will take the arm round measurement. Put the tape under the arm and bring it parallel. This is the arm round measurement. That is the biggest part of your arm or what you call biceps. Then without removing the tape, take the tape over the shoulder and note the measurement that is the armhole measurement. Next is the sleeve length. Sleeve length can vary as per the style of the garment. Now if you need a full sleeve, take the sleeve length till here or if you want a short sleeve, you can stop here at 8 inches. At that point, take the round measurement which is the sleeve open measurement. Now we have seen how to take the measurements. In the next video I will show you how to apply these measurements and make a pattern uh, to make a kurti. Thanks for watching the video.